I was arrested for murder. Now you want my help? I want you to do what I say. You just go wherever you want, whenever you want? Everyone's always jealous. I'm gonna uncover this whole operation and burn it to the ground. Uh, I was wondering if you you brought something of your own to the role, something a little bit of Alan, maybe. My, you know, I, uh, hopefully not. You know, I mean, hopefully not. I, uh, uh, um, you know, the the kind of actors that I I've um, always desired to emulate as far as their careers look um, are you know people who are phenomenal character actors trapped in a persona actor's body you know I mean look at somebody like Leonardo DiCaprio this is somebody who uh, becomes his uh, his characters so much that we sort of forget somehow magically that he's Leonardo DiCaprio and we get lost in Howard Hughes or um, you know who you know whoever he happens to be playing at the time and I, I want to I want to provide the same gift to audiences and uh, hopefully they forget about me you know and uh, I tend to be quite animated and you know um, I you know I, I, I look out at the world uh, through the eyes of a, a naive child at times you know and I just think I don't share a lot of the qualities that make uh, Reacher so interesting or, or experienced and um, and so I want to get out of the way of Reacher you know and um, and you know, working with the people that I worked with, Nick Santora, the showrunner writer, um, who's got some incredible shows under his belt, like, like Prison Break, and um, uh, Don Granger. I mean, this this man made Saving Private Ryan. He's the guy that found the script and, and shepherded this thing from the beginning. I mean, what am I going to tell these men um, about how to make Reacher? No, there's no chance. I, no, nor would I. I, wa I want to if I felt like I could. Um, I, you know, I I was surrounded by incredible minds with a ton of experience. Um, so, you know, that's saying nothing of like Lee Child's 25 years with this character in the books and um, him answering all the questions that we might, we might have about what Reacher would do in any situation. Uh, Santora faithfully adapting that um, and, and, and doing a good job uh, making it work for the screen. Um, I, I didn't have to bring myself to this. There are roles that I've played, you know, com especially comedy, um, comedic roles where, you know, I think the reason they bring me in is to improv and like, you know, just play fast and loose with the script and see if I can bring something something else to it but this is not one of those projects and and my job is to bring the reach that's on the page to life he's he needs he needs no fixing he doesn't need my fingerprint on him he's a brilliant character um, as he is and my job is just to kind of get out of my own way okay so I was wondering which of the books you would like to you know, adapt for another season, not because, you know, it's the best or whatever, but because it has something that you would like to portray as an actor. Um, you know, my experience reading the books, I read them in, in, in the order that they were published in, which, you know, is uh, not, not necessarily the, the, the order of the timeline. There are, there are flashbacks, you know, you know, back and forth in time sometimes. But, um, you know, I read them sequentially and uh, each book to me was better than the last I mean it just can you know just continue to get better and then once you're in that world I just couldn't wait to pick up another book and enjoy it and and see what life had for Reacher but um, Killing Floor was amazing I, I got it I just I got why th this is s such a, a beloved franchise but Die Trying the second book I'll never forget how, just how I just it was ravenous I just uh, I, I couldn't put it down and you know, I, 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 I was thinking that I was like, I have to be a part of this and I have to see this brought to life. Um, you know, you get the, 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 the tanks and you, you bearing teeth at German shepherds and uh, this uh, this world that he's trapped in with this uh, girl, that this heroine that's amazing. Um, I, die trying for me has always been the one I, I would love to see it made sometime before we, uh, we we call it a day on this. Killing Floor is the basis for season one. Uh, and have you talked about what novels you're going to adapt if you get picked up for more seasons or are you just going to do them one by one from the beginning? Well, you know, I've been in showbiz all my life in one way or another. And what you quickly learn is it's not my decision. It's not anybody's decision except the viewer, uh, whether there's going to be future seasons. And if we find that there are, then, um, yeah, we've got 23 or 24 other books to choose from by that point. And um, I say, let's do them one at a time until I'm a very old man.
what would you say is the biggest difference between Jack Reacher in the books and Jack Reacher in the new TV show? I think that in the books he is uh, Reacher is quite funny, but in a very dry and sardonic and um, almost invisible way. And what we tried to do on the TV is bring that slightly to the fore because you have the opportunity with with um, a whole season of having the the light and dark, the serious and the fun. So we tried to show him as, as being a little more obviously funny than he is in the books. And I think that really rounds out the character and humanizes him. You're from England. Uh... And you, yet you decided to write books about uh, an American MP and the former MP, and and he's traveling around, uh, not your country, but another country. What what made you decide to write that character? Why didn't you, for example, choose an English MP or something? Well, because I wanted that sense of alienation and wandering and the massive landscape and the huge geography. And I wanted the, like in this season, the, the idea that you can find a small town miles from anywhere that has secrets. And Britain is not like that. You know, it's a tiny country, very densely populated. And there are no small towns miles from anywhere. And there are no secrets. Everybody knows everybody else's business. I needed that space. Uh, that's why I said it in America. What aspect of the show would you say created the most discussion in the the writers room? I would say in the writers room the thing that we probably talked about the most was showing what was going on in Reacher's mind without him talking about it too much. Because in the books Re Reacher could have 15 straight pages where you're reading what's going on in his head and how he's figuring things out. But you can't he can't do that in, in the television show. So we would have to figure out ways where Reacher could observe something out of the corner of his eye and we would see it and Reacher would pick up on something and we would feel that observation and we would know what he was thinking. Um, that's probably the thing that we discussed most. Uh, we knew that Reacher would have to speak probably a little bit more than he does in the books, but Reacher is not a chatterbox by any stretch. So that was what we had to talk. That's what we probably talked about the most in the writer's room. Your earlier shows include Prison Break, Lie to Me and Scorpion. Um, these are shows that could be described as very cere cerebral. And the Jack Reacher books are known to have pretty complicated plots. Uh, was it this aspect, you know, the conspiracies that drew you to the, drew you to make the show? Um, the, the character of Jack Reacher drew me more to the project than any of the plots of the book. And that's not to say that the plots are not fantastic and interesting. Um, but I believe Lee would tell you that if he had to choose between reading a synopsis of all the plots of all the books or a synopsis of all the great character moments of Jack Reacher, he would probably be more interested in reading about Reacher because it's the way Reacher attacks these plots that makes it interesting. Um, different heroes would attack any one of these crimes or situations that Reacher's looking into differently but it's the way Reacher attacks them because of who Reacher is that makes it so compelling. So that was what drew me to this project probably more than anything was Jack, Inter Jack Reacher is an interesting cat. He's a cool cat. 